So, welcome back in Iowa Dinosaur Park. We had the first round of um, contests and I'm so curious to see what the result was and when we will actually see the result. Let's see, it says here the next update is at 11.04. Not sure why 11 because it's... In my case it's already 12. <laughs> 12.01, so maybe we still have to wait a couple of minutes. Oh, and it's Frank's birthday on past Trash Prince Fences and Zoo expansions. Hmm, that's not bad. 33% off. I'm still waiting for one zoo expansion that I would like to do to finally have my past go all around. And that is this one here 100 instead of 150 i was hoping for 50 percent off at some point um i will see if i'll buy that or not uh, i wanted to give you some more information regarding the club how that all works um your club has a level and of course all clubs start with level number one this is what you can see here in the front and the top and the, this overview um, normally if you click there, which is not working for me right now, um, it will tell you oh no, how many more club um, points, experience points it needs to reach the next level. And it says here 5000. If we take a look at one of the contests, uh, <laughs> it's reloading because probably it's um, changing right now. Well there it will tell you. Oh, let's just wait. I'll cut this out. So, again, it will tell you here at the contests, hopefully, it is not crashing again. Maybe it does. It has an information there. Um, for um, Depending on what rank you get, um, how many club points you will get. Um, why is it interesting to have a higher club level? Actually, we have here these um, fundraisers. And for those, it's especially interesting. Because if you look at the fundraisers, at the beginning, there is one, for example, already that you can pay 100,000 for a different uh, for another member slot, and you can pay, I think, for 50 ammonites another member slot, and then you can see here already it says here number two. This is the club level. If you have club level two, there are two more fundraisers opened up to have another member in your club. And of course, the more members you have in your club, the either easier it will be for you to get a higher rank because there are just more people donating more points that you can actually get. So um, even if you at some point participate in a contest where you realize, well, we are not such a high level yet, others have more animals, more money, um, Try to at least have a, let's say, be in the top 500 or so. Try to have this still as a goal just to get more club points. Because then later on you can just yeah add some members um, and that should really help you. So we can still see here, contest is over. But um, nothing else yet. Oh, now we can see it. Rank 3. I hope this is what we really got. We will see. <laughs> um, so it tells you here. Now, for example, rank 2 is 10,000 points. Rank 3 is 8,000 points. Um, it also tells you how many pieces of the statue you're getting. Um, you need 100 pieces of DNA of the statue to complete it. And you cannot complete it with Amber. You really have to have that specific statue. The statue is only giving you popularity points. It maybe looks nice, whatever. Um, for many, I think, especially towards the beginning, um, it's more helpful to take these pieces, to scrap it into amber and to complete any kind of dinosaurs, nesting sites and so on where you have DNA pieces. Because often it takes like 10,000 
amber pieces and that is hard to earn um, and you can see here basically you get more like of this uh, more than one piece of the statue if you're in the top 100 but um, if you are top 500 or top 1000 it, there's just a difference in club points that you get and you should also try to aim for higher club points just to get your club to higher levels to add members to it all right so not sure yet because of course this is all new um, we will see um, ah here we kind got the result of um, <laughs> What was in the um, um, yeah? What were the results of this specific contest? And uh, you can see we made uh, we made it into the top three. So I'm really really happy about that. <laughs> that I found some nice members to my club who helped me to to reach this goal. So that means at some point now, <laughs> hopefully, um, our club should move from level one to level two, and we should be able to do these fundraisers and. Surely um, soon we should also see um, what the new co new contests will be for the next week. Um, what other tips can I still give you? Sometimes it makes sense, um, especially if it's expensive animals. You know, when you place an, an animal into an enclosure, you also get experience points. So what I did is, um, in this contest... Yeah, my other tips that I can give you for the club is if you have um, expensive dinosaurs, for example, like in this case, uh, the Frangosaurus, um, try to buy as many as you can here um, and place them into an enclosure first. Because whenever you place a new dinosaur, you get a certain number of experience points. Um, I think that's also connected to the, the prices of the dinosaur. So in this case, the Lofengosaurus, you will get 6,250 experience points by, by um, dinosaur that you place. So I always place them first, then I take them back to my storage. And from there, I'm actually donating it. Um, just so that I, yeah, at the same time, not just spend the money, but get, gain some additional experience. Yes, and of course it, it helps you if you breed your dinosaurs to a higher level. If you have a dinosaur level 2, it counts like 2 dinosaurs. Um, so if you have level 20, it counts like 20 dinosaurs. And of course, especially the dinosaurs that cost ammonites or a lot of coins. Um, it, um, yeah, <laughs> it would be so much more expensive to always buy them. Um, and it really, really helps in the long run. So keep reading um, and enjoy if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll try to help you out and um let's see if we now still not yet maybe something is still hanging we will oh, see my game had an update let's see if i now finally officially find out <laughs> what the result of the contest was and if i see my price somewhere Let's see. It's um, it's not here yet. Okay. <laughs> I think they might still have some bug, but as you can see now, we reached club level number two, which is awesome. And <laughs> the new contest did not start yet, which is also good. Then we can still um, <laughs> save up some money. And, but you can see here now, hopefully, yes, the new fundraisers that are open. So we can add another member for 250,000. I will open up this fundraiser and maybe also even this one and see if somebody wants to donate or not. Um, plus 2% breeding chance. Yes, and I just saw here, all right, Lufungasaurus contest, rank number three. Yes, we get 8,000 experience points and we got, um, I didn't read what that just said, all right, but this is just the sale. We got all these pieces now, of course, now you will see here, oh, 
Oh, it's actually possible to complete it. I didn't even know that this is possible. But the good thing is, we can scrap all of this in. Uh, and we can get, I guess that's the number up there. Why do we have to click this really? <laughs> 5,555 pieces. What I what? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Mm. No, even more. 5,880, which is awesome. I will just do this. This is nice to have a statue, but right now I pretty much don't care. Maybe later on. And now I can finally, I can decide, should I finish the Rambogiania first or the Vudox? But I think I will do the Rambogiania first because that's one has been waiting for such a long time. Um, because I have a task to breed one and I could never do it because I was missing the second one. And now finally <laughs> I have the second Rambogiania and I can start breeding Rambogiania. Which is so cool because that's so expensive. And of course I did not want to buy it. So this is what the club is useful for. Um, for me I always try to have somehow possibility to open these boxes. And if there's a nice animal in it I'll try to get to save keys or to buy keys. Um, with the help of the club. If you have a good club, you will be able to get pieces of these starters and then you can finish all these dinosaurs DNA pieces that you have here. Um, and I think that really helps. We don't have to buy ammonites all the time then. All right, then I'm so curious about the next contest. Can't wait. <laughs> but yes, I will check back later. <laughs> Bye.